Surgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So for some time now, when I've made videos pertaining to newer pipe smokers uh, on subjects that are uh, pertaining to new pipe smokers, I've labeled them Pipe Smoking 101 and then whatever the video is about. Well, going forward, as of this week, going forward, uh, I wanted to kind of broaden that out and hit on questions you specifically have. And so when you ask them, I will throw them into a video and try to answer them the best I can, if I can. And if I can, I'm just going to tell you I can't. Uh, but I want to start that off this week because there was a good question put out by Stephen Roy. And so uh, let me say going forward, if you have questions, leave them in comments on the video. And if it seems like they're picking up a lot of interest or they seem like issues that uh, a lot of guys struggle with, or if I simply have time, I will mention them, bring them up in a video going forward. So let us start this off by hitting on the question by Stephen Roy. Uh, Stephen Roy asked recently, um, after I finish my pipe, my mouth tastes like an ashtray for the rest of the day. Is that normal? The tobaccos I, that I have is Presbyterians, Maltese Falcon, and Captain Black Gold. Now, Stephen, that's a good question, and um, I've struggled with it, which is really a, a better reason why, or more uh, additional reason, I, I should say, why I wanted to address it, uh, because that was one of the big issues I had in the very beginning. And there is probably multiple things going on. Uh, and I'm going to try to hit them in, uh, hit it in three different uh, ways and directions. Uh, so number one, uh, one of the biggest things that new pipe smokers struggle with is smoking cool. So when you smoke uh, fast, when you don't have a good rhythm, when you are really trying to keep that ember going, and so you're you're really trying to huff and puff, uh, you are heating up that bowl, you're heating up your tobacco, you're going to lose your, the taste of your blend. Doesn't matter if it's that aromatic, Latakia, Virginia, etc. You're going to lose the taste and it's going to taste like ash. Uh, that's just the reality of it. It's why I've stressed in many, many videos. I know many guys do. Veterans are going to do the same thing or say the same thing. Uh, slow down and more sip your, your pipe than guzzle or uh, you 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 want to slow and get a rhythm down to keep your ember going but you don't want to overheat your bowl that's not simply for your briar your pipe in its condition that is also to get the best smoking flavor and experience uh, to keep mouth uh, tongue bite as well but it's also going to help with the flavor of your leaf of the tobacco so bear that in mind practice it and you probably won't get it in the very beginning it's going to take some time but eventually you will. So that's one thing I'm gonna tell you up front and probably the main thing. Uh, number two is how low you are smoking your blend. And this is something that I learned a little bit later in my, uh, in my pipe smoking journey, if you will, or hobby, what have you. Um, and it came up in a smokingpipes.com article where uh, a gentleman noted that when he was smoking and he was smoking for years, uh, a very experienced individual, I think he was even a, a pipe maker, noticed that he was smoking his blend all the way down to the bottom of the bowl. And he told him various reasons why. Don't do that. You know, don't smoke your blend all the way down. Don't, don't get all the way down to the bottom of your pipe. Part of that is for the health of your, of your pipe uh, itself. But there's also another reason. Think about what's going on. You're smoking your the leaf, right? And as you smoke it down and you get down to the bottom near the airway uh, of, your, of your pipe, you'll start pulling in that ash. You're gonna start pulling in the top layer of, of your, of your, uh, of your con leaf content, your tobacco content. And so that's gonna get into your airway, which means it's gonna get into your mouth. And that doesn't taste well either. So leave a small base um, on the bottom. It's not thick. I'm not talking about leave a quarter of your bowl, by no means, but uh, leave some of your leaf content, your mixture content in the bottom. Don't smoke it all the way down. And that's going to be one thing, one way to avoid um, getting that ash taste as well. So the last thing I want to hit on is the, well, the smoking experience itself and you being new to it. Now, Stephen, I don't know how long you've been smoking your pipe, but one thing we have to bear in mind is our tongue, our taste buds really aren't fully used to this new experience. If you ever lifted weights, uh, if you ever started running and you began that process, you know that it's 
quite painful afterwards, right? Our body's aching uh, quite significantly because we're not used to it. Our body's still adapting to that new regimen of our routine in life. Um, and there's some similarity there with pipe smoking. Um, and it also goes with how our tongue feels. You know, we're, we're going to have some natural tongue uh, bite, if you want to call it that, or pain or uh, uh, this odd feeling on our tongues when we start smoking a pipe, probably cigar as well, because it's new to our our mouth. Um, and so same thing I want to say with the smoking experience and the taste. Um, it may need some time of adjustments um, to let your taste buds get a familiar understanding of what Virginia tastes like and the various components um, in Latakia and in Burley and everything else. Um, because during that process, uh, it, at times it may very, very well taste like, uh, well, ash and you aren't really able to pick point certain flavors. So that's one thing that could be going on. And it simply is another, uh, another point where patience is needed. All right. So hopefully that helped you, Steven. If, if you have any further questions, uh, feel free to give them below and I'll happily answer them. And for the rest of you, again, let me remind you, feel free to leave your comments. If I feel like I can trust or if I can uh, honestly answer them, I will happily do so. And I feel like I can't, I will tell you and point you to better experienced pipe smokers. Well, guys, that's all I have this week. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're blessed and we'll talk to you very soon.